Chaplain. My name is Father Jeff, Father Jeff Stevenson, and I am the rector of St. Anne's Episcopal Church here in Sayville, New York. Um, and I like to say where that is every night, just for those folks who are joining us for the first time or aren't familiar with New York and Long Island. Um, if you know where Long Island is, imagine the island, and uh, on one end is New York City, and on the other end is the Hamptons. And we are about halfway through on the south uh, of the island and uh, on the Great South Bay. So that's where Sayville is. And then if you are in Sayville, along uh, in uh, St. Anne's is a little church that's right on the border of Sayville and Bayport. And it is just a great little parish, great little town with a great little parish with a bunch of parishioners who are just wonderful. So if you are in the area, we would have would love to have you join us on Sunday. And if you are not here in the area, we would love to have you on Sunday um, since we are streaming everything um, or since we stream every Sunday. We will have uh, the 10 o'clock service will be live streamed. And every night we have Compline like this. In the days to come, it will be a mixture of me and um, our new assistant rector, uh, the Reverend Lilo Carr. And uh, between the two of us, we will be doing Compline pretty much every night. So I've had to miss a few nights since I've been here, but very few. And uh, I'm really just thankful that all of you are able to join us. So tonight is Friday evening. And for us, that means it's the day before we begin to worship because we have a, a service here live. Uh, it's not online. Uh, we decided to move this one to in-person only. And uh, that service is a Tizé service. So very simple um, contemplative music. And... Uh, it's still a Eucharist, and that is at 5 o'clock on Saturdays. And then we have two services on Sunday. One is at 8 a.m., and that's in-person only. That's a traditional service. We still use right to language, but tends to be much quieter uh, than the 10 o'clock. And then the 10 o'clock is the service that we live broadcast, our simulcast. And uh, that tends to be our primary service for the weekend. And then if you are find yourself on Fire Island, we have services that happen in the Pines uh, and in uh, Cherry Grove. And they alternate between locations. And I think this weekend, this weekend is, making sure I'm saying this right. Yeah, I think this weekend is Cherry Grove. So it's in the community center there. And uh, then next weekend it will be in the Pines, so. So we have lots of services happening. So wherever and however it is that you feel comfortable worshiping, I hope that we can find something that fits you. That is our plan, at least. So, um, and tonight, as we do Compline, we are still continuing to look at ways to expand our services. Um, what we do live, what we do um, streaming like this, and what we do in person. We have started again with our relationship with the Bristol Assisted Living Facility just down the street, um, which is so exciting. I'm very excited that I can say that that's come back now. And the, I don't know, like things are coming back and that makes me just unbelievably happy. And I'm hoping that you can come and join us. That's, that would be wonderful. And so with that, let's take a few moments and let ourselves be centered as we prepare for prayer. If you have your Book of Common Prayer, uh, we will be using um, the Compline on page 127. And I'm not using the... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm, I'm using a reading from Ephesians for this evening. So, All right, so let's just take a moment and let ourselves be centered as we prepare to be present in the prayers. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end.
Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us together pray Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me, make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. and a reading from the letter to the Ephesians. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. This is one of my go-to readings. I find myself often wondering how I'm going to do what I am called to do, to do the work that sometimes feels overwhelming that sits before me. And this letter to, the, to Ephesus reminds me that God, whose power working in us, can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine more than we can ask or imagine if we trust in the divine presence in and around us if we trust in god moving through us in us and around us then we can do more than we can ever have pictured we picture this little world that that we live in this little bubble of a world that we live in and there is so much more and when we allow God to work through us, I think that we can glimpse that. Even if we can't fully, fully understand it, when we allow God to work through us, when we divine, when we allow the divine to be in us and around us, we glimpse everything that is beyond us. And that gives me, at least, the power, the energy, the gumption, the whatever it is to do what is next, to do that thing that's in front of me that is right, that is next. And when we can all figure that out together, I think that that's when we discover that what the kingdom of God looks like. So, God working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now in the words that our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, 
so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We give thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us in the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal Mystery. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world that we live in and the life that we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace, for the just and proper use of your creation, and for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression, for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy, for the peace and unity of the Church of God, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. We pray for Michael Curry, our presiding bishop, and Larry, Bishop Larry Provisano, our bishop, and for all bishops and other ministers, for all who serve God in God's church. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King, and praise your name forever and ever. Our oh, Lord, we pray for those who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins with the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with, all, with, your, with the Father and with the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and awake we may sleep, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free, to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us this night and always. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I hope you have had a wonderful week, and I hope that in this weekend to come, you are able to join us for one of the services, um, however it is that feels best to you, and I hope that in the week to come, you know peace, joy, and happiness. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you tomorrow night. Good night, everybody.